All right, hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Insurmountable uh, 2.0 update. I didn't play this when it originally came out, but they've apparently redone a lot of things and improved it. And so I figure, I guess now's a good time to jump right in, especially because Datalik was kind enough to send me a copy. So choose your mountaineer. I don't know what I'm doing. So allows the player to rent a, rest in the tent, three uses, reduces energy cost on all terrain, extra energy, let's see. 33% of max stat value regeneration whenever you use a consumable item you recover some health Analysis take some time to gain experience Ooh. Extra camera distance duration an hour a tent a hiking staff reduce time cost on flat terrain and when climbing one height distance and then a warm cat extra body temperature per hour when moving temperature per hour when resting in events Let's see, so fur gloves, ooh, climbing axe, boots, and hot tea. Thirst for knowledge, whenever you level up, gain 15 energy and 15 body temperature. And a lot of things? I feel like the journalist might be a good start. So I'm going to try with them. Uh, let's see, in your never-ending quest for truth, you jet from one crisis-stricken region to another. No conflict area is too dangerous for you, no story too controversial. Ordinary people need to be kept abreast of the dark machinations of the elite, and who better to enlighten them than you? When you hear rumors that an entire island was kept secret from the public for many years, you started digging an occupying force that mysteriously vanished, and confidential experiments conducted high up in the mountains, you have to scale the peaks and see for yourself. If the rumors prove true, this could be the greatest story of your career, and your Pulitzer is in the bag. All right, so we're just gonna do normal difficulty. Yeah, I'm not gonna do any of the other ones. I'm just gonna do, don't show again. Mountain one and see, firm, stos, firm snow, stable ice or unusual phenomena. So, hmm, increases the effect of cold weather, heavy storms, icy terrain, better grip on the route or Firm snow, but eerie surroundings. Oh, reduce sanity per hour when moving. Reduce energy cost on snow. Energy cost on ice. Energy cost on all terrain, but w during uh, weather stormy. Blizzard reduces body temperature per hour when moving. But extra EXP gain during events. I don't know. I kind of want to do unusual phenomena. I, look, if I'm going to be a journalist, I might as well just own it. Your gaze drifts up to the summit. The island is full of secrets and can provide material for stories for years to come. How could it have happened so suddenly? Who are the ominous occupiers who left traces throughout the entire mountain range? Do they really conduct experiments here? And if so, what kind? You'll leave no stone unturned to solve the island's mysteries, but to do that, you'll have to make your way up to the peak. Status. Well, I can't get the rest. Camera control. Middle mouse button to move. Cool. Path control. Click on a valid tile. And that's where we go. Remove the last marker set. Train type. Stone. Danger. Snowy. Snowy and danger? Ice. I don't... Hopefully danger will be a little bit more obvious. Because it really does just look like everything else except for maybe with the texture applied. There are various types of events that can occur on the mountain. If you step in a field with such a marker, an event gets triggered. Health, energy, sanity, oxygen, body temperature, and EXP. Let's see, when a stat other than health reaches zero, your status is critical. You can see the path preview when you when you will definitively hit the critical status. If you continue to climb in this condition, you will face dangerous critical events. Careful, your, if your health reaches zero, it's over. Let's see, once you level up, you can choose between multiple skills every level up. Let's see, weather, body temperature loss is increased, and energy cost of climbing increased. Events challenge you to make difficult choices with various outcomes. Careful, when time passes in an event, you might gain or lose stats like body temperature based on the conditions of the mountain, and then sleep. A good way to restore energy while you're not moving, you can sleep at any time by clicking the sleep button. But sleeping without a tent can severely lower your body temperature, especially in cold weather. Sometimes you can find a place to sleep in a cave. All right, cool. I now vaguely understand what I'm doing. So I need to go up. I see loot here. 
there. Well, here's the question. Can I can I pan around? No. Because I see Ludo for there, but it seems like it, to progress, I need to go this direction. I think I'm still going to go up, though, real, real quickly. I just want to get an item, see what it is. How do I... How do I actually go? So it's a double click. Makes sense. If this isn't too bad, especially here, I might want to grab what items I can in the lowlands. But it depends greatly on like what we actually get from this. Nearby in an abandoned camp, there's a torn tent. You can take the time to search the intact uh, intact tents. So thoroughly, quick look around. Let's just do a quick look around. Find nothing useful. But I get some EXP, which is useful. So, reduced energy cost on all terrain, light steps, flat terrain expert. Night owl, more experience from events at night, or master climber. Oh, active ability. I don't know. I feel like the flat terrain expert is good because it says on all terrain. Oh, but being on the mountain too long threatens my sanity. Yeah, let's go with that. Now, do we do we get over to this one? Yeah, you know what? We'll grab this and then we'll go along. Look, if we end up losing our minds as a result of this, then so be it to some degree. It's not like I, I, I'm specifically like, I want to go mad here. But at the same time, I don't know. I, I'm here to explore. I feel like this area should almost be kind of peaceful. You know, maybe tiring, but... You lean against the rock face. You notice a hollow behind a huge boulder. Somebody's left some provisions there. Let's use a branch. Use a branch. You lean your entire weight of your body against the branch, intending to use it as a lever. It snaps in the middle, causing you to fall sideways with a start. The boulder hasn't moved an inch. Ow. Okay, so we take some damage. So what can we do? Light steps to careful steps. Spend more time when moving, but ignores dangerous terrain. Or strong lungs. Extra oxygen per hour. Well, I mean, making it so that I have... This is good, but maybe it'll show up later. I'm going to grab this. I figure if we have, like, minimal to no... Stamina cost. That could come in handy. Now, do I gain the XP from just moving? Or is it events only? Looks like it's just events only. So I'll keep that in mind. Uh, let's see. Anything else to grab here? No. So we also have oxygen. We have an injured torso. Here's the, a way to check that. Okay, so reduce oxygen per hour when moving. Breathing is painful, lasts for tw 21 hours. Well, if there was a time for that to happen, now is probably kind of okay. Uh, obviously, oxygen is still going to be an issue, but considering, you know, we're in kind of in the lowlands, it's not like deadly drain, I'm hoping. Is there a way that I can speed this up? Not really. Rates, equipment, right. No, not too much. An environment. Weather is clear, everything is good. You sit down on a rock to relax. A pleasant warmth fills your body. You touch the stone with your hand. It's warm, so warm the ice and snow around it is melted. Why didn't you notice that before? You close your eyes and regain... Let's see, warmth is fine. Regain some sanity. I'll take it. So what's our next couple of goals? We've got like a cave here. And a... I, it looks like a conflict marker? I 
I don't know. Oh. Why is it at negative 27? I'm confused by why this suddenly has a giant red marker. Unless I'm tired or hungry and I haven't noticed that. Okay. There's also nightfall, but I have no tents. But, oh, maybe... Maybe the cave is, like, I can spend the night here. You enter a cave. It's dry and sheltered from the wind. Further back, you see a small tunnel leading into the darkness. Uh, we're just going to sleep here. So what will this do? It looks like sleeping for a long time really just gets me a little bit of extra oxygen. Well, that worked out. And once again, it's doing this, this red thing as though... Unless it's like 40 drain per hour. Is that what's implied here or... Nope. I don't know. Blood curdling scream rends the air. You stop abruptly and listen. The scream is followed by a snarl. You cautiously, cautiously creep towards the source of the terrible noises. Behind a rock, you see a hunter, armed only with a knife, locked in a struggle with a cougar. His face is streaked with blood. The hunter's back is lying on the ground nearby. You could grab it, and he would never see you. Help the hunter. Take the pack. Continue on my journey. So that costs... Now nah, let's try it. With a deafening yell, you tackle the animal, knocking it away from the hunter. The cougar is so shocked it scampers away yelping. The hunter is just as flummoxed, but he begins rummaging through his pack, murmuring something unintelligible. Seems as though he wants to reward you for saving him. Your body is flooded with endorphins. You wonder if a paltry gift might dampen your flush of victory. So what would this get me? Good conscience. Better sanity. Or moon herb. So really the, the question is 24 hours of sanity versus an item. Oh, but this gets me more EXP. Yeah, I'm just going to go for that. I don't know if that's the right call. Can I go back to that cave? No. There's another cave over there, so I might be able to recover. Okay. Oh, time lapse. Wait, what? That was stupid. And the weather is nice enough that I might be able to sleep out here. But my body temperature would be in, in trouble. Well, let's just hope whatever item we get here is fine. Other though, otherwise, there's a cave over there, but that's going to be a doozy. Okay, torn tent. Let's see. Let's take our time. Find some equipment. Okay, so what do we get? Leftovers, insulated boots. I'll grab it for the time being. Right, I also have the hot tea. Now, what is the temperature? I don't know what it is. If I sleep for a bit, we can get a bunch of energy back. And I don't have a tent. Okay. Yeah, I'm assuming that's kind of our goal. Then we have to keep going. Do we hit the last event? I really like those. I really like events. So I'm probably going to just keep pushing them. Like obviously, we have to worry about statistics a little bit. But not right now. Not at the moment. Search the camp. Continue my journey. You discover an intact tent. There's nobody in sight, but the embers in the fire pit are still glowing. The camp is obviously being used by someone. It can contain valuable items. 
search the camp. Oh, a tent with an unusual symbol catches your eye. You plunder it and find valuable equipment. Yeah, that's really good. Uh, let's see. Oh. Okay. So we get warm gloves. So I have a, a set of gloves they give me here. Can I go get over that? Yeah, that'll be fine. Uh, a set of gloves and boots that give me warmth and a set of gloves and boots that reduce stamina cost. At the moment, stamina is oddly not a concern. I don't know why we burnt so much of that in one section. I guess it's because it was like really tall. But that's okay. We'll sleep in the cave and then we'll head for that marker. Okay. It's dry. There's also the follow the light. But honestly, we're going to sleep. Sleep for a while. Doesn't give me any more sanity, which is unfortunate. But that's okay. Alright, let's get up here. Oh. Lying on the ground are two dead mountaineers. It looks like they haven't been here for long. You recognize the symbol on the clothing. It's the same as the one on the tent that you plundered. Oops. Okay. Consumables expert. Whenever you use a consumable, you get some sanity. Whenever you suffer a dangerous terrain event, gains me XP. Or, hmm. I like the consumables expert. This is pretty good. But I think I'm going to go consumables just to get some sanity back. Not that I've used any. I will, I will eat food and feel good about myself, despite the fact that I potentially led those men to their deaths. Okay, an old woman sits in front of a crooked hut. She wears a friendly, toothless smile and motions you to sit with her to recharge your strength. You do as she suggests and regain health or warmth. But no sanity? Oh no. Are we going... Are we going up? Okay, well my warmth is good. Let's swap those out. And then, yeah, I guess we're going up. I don't... I don't see anything else for us to do down, down below. Okay, I see, like, a fight over there and a couple other things. Conflicts. So it actually looks like there's a fair bit in both of these regions. Items, fight, tokens, thing. If I went up to this, how much would that cost? Not much. But we might have a dangerous event to get there. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm here to take risks and gain levels. Looks like this is... Eh, it's not not a full dead end. Okay, you encounter a cloaked mountaineer. He points at your flask and holds his hands together. Give him the tea. Sure. The mountaineer bows and continues on his way. I'm not fully sure that was the right call, but... Currently, heat hasn't been an issue. It will be an issue. But it'll be an issue later. Okay. I want to go down to this. Is it worth it? Don't know. But it seems like the more the more of these perks I can pick up from leveling, the better off we generally are. Okay, do we have anything interesting down in there? No, it doesn't look like it. But I see this item here, and I want it. I also see a sun symbol up there, which seems interesting. Okay, what else do we have? We do also have a cave here. So I think I'm... Oh, I don't know. You, you encounter the cloaked mountaineer again. He's holding a vacuum fa flask in his hands, which he passes to you. Then he pulls out some herbs and a torch and offers the them you alternatively. So vacuum flask, tea and the torch... 
key and the herbs, all of the items. Um, I'm just going to take the flask. He smiles and bows and continues on his way. We level up. Okay, energy when waking up, increase sanity gain in events, or increase maximum energy by 40. Oh, those are, that's tough. I'm going to go for the sanity gain, I think. Early sleeper is also tempting, just for the, oh no. Whenever you wake up, gain 10 energy. No, I'm going to go with that. I don't have anything that gives me energy gain at the moment. Sanity gain uh, would have probably maybe been better. Deer stand. Clum bleh, you clum. You climb up onto a crooked, rickety deer stand built by hunters to survey the terrain and shelter from the elements. Pile of soft fur is on the floor looks awfully inviting. You consider taking rest. A gutted deer hangs from the ceiling. The meat is fresh and juicy. Mouth begins to wa water. Uh, let's see. Take some of the meat and leave a gift. Eat some meat, continue the journey. Well, we don't need to rest too much. I don't mind leaving the gift. You roast the meat over an open fire. It's pink and tender. You feel your strength returning with every bite. You're filled with gratitude towards the unknown hunters who bagged the animal, and toward the animal that gave its life to feed you. Before you climb, from the deer stand, you leave a gift. You hope it, it'll it be accepted. Seems worthwhile. Okay, so we've lost some heat, but that's fine. I see a couple of things up and around, and I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get all of them. What time is it? I don't know. I kind of want to head for the cave. Oof. And the camera controls here is awkward. There's also that, like, way high up. Oh, well, no. Hold up. Nope. Dang it. Keep zooming in on myself. If I go here, how much does that cost me? Not too much. Yeah, let's go up. I'll hit the caves when I need to. Okay, goat herd. You reach a plateau. You spot an indigenous man. He's re relaxing and enjoying a meal with his go while his goats frolic around him. When he notices you, he beckons you over. Approach the goat herd. The goat herd smiles at you and gives you some of his equipment. You're speechless. Whoa, whoa. That's that's big money. Okay, so if I want to go to that, that's not too bad. Also, another cave over there. I'm just going to go up to this. Now I have a whole bunch of things here, including some caves. I know there's another one over there. Which, in retrospect, I can... I could potentially go into a cave and not rest, but actually go deeper in. I haven't done that yet. Anyway, you enter an expansive cave. Countless stalactites hang from the ceiling, some of which are longer than your arm. Water droplets trickle gently from the tips of the stalactites, Onto the rocks and pools below. The soothing, tinkling sound they make as they land leaves you feeling calm and relaxed. The rock formations must be thousands of years old, dating back to back to before the first traces of people on this island. It makes you happy to think that anything could endure so long. You two are here to achieve something that will outlast you, something people will talk about for years to come. Well, it gets me another level. Alright, tea and herbs are more effective, reduced energy cost on snow, but that's an active ability. Spend more time when moving. Mm. Let's see. I'm going to do careful steps. Well, we have this nice and quick. And what do we get? Rocky outcrop. You march along a mountain ridge. It's steep slopes lined with gnarled trees defying the elements. You spot an oxygen bottle on a narrow and fragile looking edge ledge. 
You pick it. You can pick up a branch and try and salvage the item. Give it a try. Give it another try. Keep trying. Okay, we got it. We got that. Extra oxygen and sanity. However, the problem is we are now very cold. So question one, this cave. Pretty far away, costs a fair bit of resources. Interesting, interesting thing to note. Now let's do it. I've got plenty of energy. And it's mainly my sanity that's a concern, but after that, that cave painting thing, we're at a big boost. I'm going to go back to this cave. We'll rest at this one. Maybe just hang out at the other one. Oh, is it actually blizzarding? The weather is cold. Okay, lie down and sleep. Oh. Oh, that's bad. Uh, let's see. Just go there. Now the benefit is, oh, because it's clear weather and I have all this uh, warm weather gear. As long as I don't go anywhere too cold, I will warm up. Okay, let's do that. This is kind of wasteful. But I guess it's fine. Nope, too late. Okay, I have to be more cognizant of rubble. Okay, and I also see some danger terrain there, but I think it'll be fine. Okay, explore the tunnel, lie down and sleep. Yeah, we can get some warmth back. It's almost nighttime anyway. The weather is still clear, perfect. Okay, so if I... Is this just snow? Take a look, deep snow. Energy cost on all terrain. That's fine though. Because we can snag that, we get a goat. Approach the goat. We've approached the goat. All right, what else do we have? Uh, we got a cave in a conflict, but we also have one of these like super nice events. I'm just going to go over here. It's cold as shit. That's the one worry. Oh, is it also because we're on colder terrain? Maybe. I'm going to hope that this gets me what I need. Otherwise, we're going to head for these two, I think. Okay, shrine. There's an active fire pit, but not a soul around. The flames seem to be fighting the icy wind for survival. Watching the fire dance in the face of the cold is almost meditative. Regain sanity or energy? What? But heat. Sanity. Okay, so let's take a look at this. We've got a lot of things on the right side, but I'm going to go here, closer cave, I don't know. I'll find something to get me some H uh, some heat back. I'm very glad we got that hat and those gloves. Like, I realize, yeah, okay, the end result was maybe murder, but still, oh. You get the mountain goat and is standing behind a rock and using its head to point emphatically in the direction you're walking is it trying to warn you. Hide behind the rock. Walking just a few feet ahead of you is a large wildcat it notices neither of you, or neither you nor the goat. Rad. Thank you, goat buddy. Okay, let's go here. It's cold weather again. Good time for a cave. Lay down and sleep. 
I can do neither of these things. Uh, follow the light. Coming from hundreds of fireflies. Fascinating. Okay. Oh. Oh. Well, I can I can do neither of those. That sucks. But we can level up. Open-minded. Comfort of home. Or weakens the effect of cold weather. Yes. I need that desperately. Yeah. So now I'm barely getting cold. Okay, rough stone. Oh, ow. Ow. Dead deer. You stumble upon the corpse of a deer with no signs of decay. The animal died only recently. The remains of the chewed herbs cling to its snout, its last meal, probably still undigested. You could cut open the animal's stomach to get the herbs. Sure. Rip sanity. Gain herbs. Sort of. Oh, herbs are. R4 sanity. Rad. Okay. Next up, we've got a conflict spot there. Up top. How much is this going to cost me? Very little. I'm feeling relatively well prepared for all of this. Which is not something I would have expected. I thought I was in trouble. But all of my little warm weather bonuses are stacking in the best way. I would like to be an unstoppable heat machine, if possible. Okay, encounter. You walk past a massive crevasse, you hear faint cries for help. Looking into the depths, you identify an unfortunate mountaineer at the bottom of the chasm. Uh, climb down to save him. After a few feet, the ledge you're climbing on breaks off. You fall a short way before regaining your footing. The cries of the mountaineer from below have been silenced. You have no other choice than to climb back up. Well, I think I killed him. Now, can I get to this? And would it cost me much? Not too much. And there's a cave over there. Otherwise, I could go that direction. But I feel like that's progress. Both are. Nuts. What is this? I haven't seen that before. Zoom out. So energy is a big issue for me. I see a bunch of stuff over there. I see a bunch of stuff over here. Both seem great. I'm... Okay. What if I get to this? I'm not going to run out of juice before I get to that cave. I'm just trying to farm as much EXP as I can. That's the real answer here. So what we might want to do is just kind of double back through here and then go up this side. Because it seems a little less steep and has a decent amount of goodies in it. Oh, discover the wreck of a plane crash. You could use time to search it. Take a quick peek. Find some equipment. We get crampons. Re reduced energy cost on ice. Rad. Oh, you carefully open the door to a shack. Inside, there are books and other documents piled to the ceiling, just as you're about to enter. A tall woman with long white hair suddenly appears in front of you. She speaks to you quickly in a language you don't understand. When you shrug apologetically, she disappears and returns shortly after with a few possessions. She wants to trade. She'd like an oxygen bottle for you. Oh, so we can get canned food, get some energy, or a tent. Let's go for the tent. It's big, but we can use it three times. And so as soon as the weather clears up, we can potentially go heat up. Okay. Follow the smell. Large water hole. Thin ray of light goes through. Okay, so we get some of that. That's worth it. And can we sleep? Uh... I think we have to sleep briefly. Maybe I should have waited. So first aid. Take some time to heal your wounds. It's not the worst idea. Whenever you find enter a point of interest, gain 8 energy or max energy. 
I'm digging enthusiasm. Okay, so I don't... I could go over here, but that's going to cost me. Kind of dearly. Yeah, I'm going to go up here. This whole cold thing is actually kind of killer. I thought it was doing great, but apparently nighttime is kind of brutal. I could pop another tent, but I don't think it's going to keep me warm. Icefall. Your breath is taken away. Towering in front of you on the slope are bizarre, bizarrely shaped masses of ice and snow. Several tents not far away. Who set up camp here? You call up and no one answers. Check the slope. Approach the camp. Slowly approach the camp. The ice crunches beneath your boots. Every step could be your last. You close your eyes. Finally, you reach your goal. The camp has been abandoned. Not a soul in sight. They surely left long ago. You rummage through the things they left behind and find some equipment. At least your efforts weren't in vain. Not really what I wanted, though. But I'm actually going to gain heat here. Sick. Just barely. The weather must clear out. Yep. Oh, we're good. Oh, I had a concern there. Let's take a look at this. Can I get to this? Not comfortably, no. Yeah, I'm not I'm not even gonna bother. We're just gonna go straight. Then I'll try and pop over to that obelisk. Because there's a cave and a couple other things. Okay, stone plaque. Let's see, stay and dig it up. Yeah, sure. Half buried in the ground, you find a weathered stone plaque. It seems to be very old. Old, very old, in fact. You're digging in the earth with your bare hands. Your gaze falls on one of the characters etched in the stone. Presumably some kind of writing system. You regret that you're unable to read the characters. There must have been some uh, civilization here long ago. What must have led to their downfall? Finally, you're able to free the plaque and lift it up. In the hollow beneath it, you find some provisions. Energy and sanity. Sweet. Okay. Go there. Oh, I see multiple obelisks over here. This was generally the right call. I just hope one of them gives me some heat. I'm still kind of miffed that hanging out with that old lady in our warm cabin or the fire that we saw earlier, like we couldn't hang out next to those and just be like, please warm. I need, need warmth. Warmth. Okay, how much would that cost me? Nothing. I, I am here to gain levels. Power leveling up a mountain. It's the way to do it, I think. Discover the remains of a mountaineer. Uh, let's see. Eh, my poor sanity. Find some equipment. We find snow boots. Wait, what time are we looking at? Eh, it's good. I think we'll be getting here just as night falls, and I'll spend the night in the cave. And we're good to go. This is really good. I I will admit I originally passed on this game because I'm not a big fan of realism in games. I, I think I'm just kind of tired of it. Okay, explore the tunnel. It's dark, can't see anything. Step into the darkness. Well, we don't get anything. But we can sleep for a while. Rad. So we get a ton of our, our body heat back. And all of my energy. Okay. Keep going for things? Yes. What else do we have here? Is this snow? I think this is all snow. Deep snow. So here's the thing. If I just swap this out, we... Oh. Oh, I'm a dang fool. Okay. Here's the thing. 
I haven't been wearing my warm stuff this entire time. I was doing the reduce energy cost. Like I said, dang fool. See if I can gain some more heat out here. Or like maybe sanity? Okay, Golden Eagle suddenly lands in front of you, its wings carrying a maje it majestically to the ground. Fascinated, you watch it and watches you too, unafraid. Can't explain it, but the encounter feels magical. Fully wrapped in this moment, you re regain sanity or warmth. Let's regain warmth. Because yeah, we can use... Ooh. What is this? Oh, I see. It's just... Ice? Probably ice. Well, if we put on the crampons. I think that's ice. Or is that just a dangerous thing? Oh, and we have a storm. A local man sitting up against a rock face waves you over. As you approach him, he holds out an oxygen bottle, his face contorted with pain. He says something to you, but you don't understand a word. Find out what's wrong with him. Sure. You look at the stranger who keeps grabbing your shoulder. You're sure he has dislocated it. You, or grabbing his shoulder. You gesture to him to hold out his hand out to you. You pull it with a jerk. He screams. Then there's silence. A few seconds later, the stranger is beaming at you. He offers you the oxygen bottle again, which you take. You're glad you were able to help him. Rad. Okay. I Yeah, I can make just a little bit of space in here. Perfect. Okay, so let's take a look. Let's see. Heat-wise, we're good. I don't think the crampons are going to help me too much here. And that's just reduced energy costs on stone. Okay. And oddly enough, the blizzard is only an issue when it's when the weather is cold. But the weather's not cold, it is stormy. Oh. What did I do? Sprain my ankle. Ouch. Okay, we get a cave. Uh, let's see. Sleep for a long time. Now, I might as well sleep long. Reason being, I uh, get all my energy back and rest off as much of this sprain as I possibly can. Okay. I'm going to be burning stamina here. Oh, it got dark. We get a shrine to get some health, get some warmth. Let's actually get the health back. So here's here's an interesting issue. Between the night and the storm. Oh, this is snow. This is ice. I got it. How long do we have before daybreak? Oh gosh, do not go up the the vertical. It's not worth it. Oh, I should have memorized where I was going here. Oh, I can actually I can actually see. Glacier. So lose some heat, lose some energy. Let me check my inventory. I can do the canned food if I need to. And if we're lucky, that's the end of it. Let's go back to maintaining heat. Actually, no. Maintaining stamina. Go over there. I see some more event markers, but I think my best bet is to head for this cave and rest. Okay, and while we're here, warm up. Yeah, per hour when resting in, a, in events. So I've got to remember to do that more often. Okay, explore the tunnel. 
Step into the darkness. Can't go any further, but we gain the XP. Lie down and sleep. And yeah, let's just rest. It'll... Oh, we rest for most of the day, which is unfortunate, but it get, should get rid of our debuff. And get most of our statistics back up. And we level up. So, reduce sanity lost in events, which is really good. Which is really good. Okay, so what do we got over here? What have we missed? I'm actually pretty close to the top here. Okay. Thoroughly search the events. I can lose the heat. Find some equipment. We get a hiking staff. But I do need to move some things around. Um, hmm. Oxygen has shockingly not been an issue. Use the moon herb. We, oh, but the moon herb was useless. I shouldn't have done that. Um, What do we get rid of? I'm going to get rid of the protective helmet. Probably is the wrong call, but I have yet to need it. Either that or we get rid of the snow boots. I'm going to do this just in case. Okay, now let's take a look. How long would that take? A freaking long time. How much would that take? Not too long. Also not too long. I see a cave up to the left. The one thing, the one thing I will say is... Events, cave there. I think we want to go this direction. As potentially unfortunate as it's going to be. Because that way I can rest at the cave if we need it. But then we're going to have to go from here over to here. Because it seems I do not want to go up this giant ice cliff. It seems like this also has a lot more event tokens. Which, like, I realize we're almost at the end. But you never know. Let me double check. I've got on what I want on. I, you know what? Yeah, I do. Because heat loss is the biggest worry at the moment. Traveling at night is not my favorite. We do have the tent. But I think I'd rather... No, because it's, it's the same temperature loss. Yeah, per hour when resting and in events. So to some degree, yeah, I don't really have a choice. That's weirdly a relief. Up deep snow. Go around the crevasse. Cross the snow bridge. Go around the crevasse. Because I get heat back during the day. Oh. Fresh snow is piled high ahead of you on the mountainside. There must have been an avalanche here recently. As you trudge through the heaps of snow, your gaze falls on upon a vacuum flask of tea. It's half buried in the snow. Uh, start to dig. Okay, yep. You dig in the snow until your hands grab hold of a piece of fabric. You continue to dig and finally pull a stranger out of the snow. His pa face is pale and you stop breathing. Frantically try to revive him, but it's too late. You did everything you could. Oh, do I not get... Ah... I don't get his thermos, but we get a cave. Caves are good resting. Cause I can get I can get my stamina back whenever. It's my heat that's the issue. I probably should have gone for the thermos. But alas. Oh, we have a death zone. So mend my wounds, take it slow. So for 24 hours, we get oxygen per hour per moving. Mend my wounds. Let's mend my wounds. Okay, we've got a cave. Lie down to sleep. 
Uh, let's see. Sleep briefly. Sleep, sleep briefly. Okay. Time for this to go rough. How much is that going to cost me? Not much. Worth it? Yeah? Because I probably want to hit up that obelisk. Oof. Maybe not. I don't know. We'll go for the item. I'll see what else I have. I do have the canned food. I've got a lot of supplies. Like I'm in kind of a good spot there. It's just a matter of making it the rest of the way. I mean, Summit is in sight though, so who knows? Glacier. Attempt the jump. Take some health damage, it's fine. Okay, rocky outcrop. You march along the mountain ridge. Its steep slopes lined with gnarled trees defying the elements. You spot an oxygen bottle on a narrow and fragile looking ledge. Try and salvage it. Okay, we got it, and we're just going to immediately use it. Probably shouldn't have done that, but whatever. Uh, let's see. I have a whole bunch of stuff there. That's the end of it, though. I know. Let's hit this event first, then the cave. Because we're barely losing oxygen, and I have a whole extra bottle. Corpse in the ice. Examine the orb. Okay. You reach a rocky hollow, half covered with glacial ice. As you carefully climb over the sheet of ice into the hollow, you come face to face with a pair of eyes staring at you. You breathe in sharply. The eyes are those of a woman who's almost completely frozen in the ice. Only her face and top of her torso are exposed. Examine. As... It's a young woman. Looking into her eyes feels like sinking into a bottomless lake. Just what happened to her? Why did she so shine, uh, show no signs of decay? You shake off these thoughts as you feel small pouches running around her neck. Carefully you open the pouch before letting it slip from your fingers in disappointment. E empty. It's fine. I think I'm actually gaining. Yeah, because it's daytime. And now stormy. Uh, let's see. Follow the light. Get that. So if we sleep, if I sleep briefly, 15, so trade some oxygen for some heat. Let's just sleep briefly. I don't know which I'm going to run out of, but I have a bottle and I also gain heat here just by being around. I am a toasty boy. It's really nighttime when things get bad. Sanity, energy. Well, neither of these are helpful. Oof. Rough stone. Yeah, this is gonna hurt. I almost feel like I should have gotten the, uh... Oh. I almost feel like I should have gotten the rough terrain... Or, not rough terrain, the first aid action. Though what I should have done was actually use my rough terrain ability. Gain some warmth. Okay. So what is the shortest path? It's gonna cost me some hella stamina. Yeah, the big issue is this. Let's go here. Because I think I'll be fine. Unless, of course, something shows up to, like, absolutely wreck me. Let's take a look. Because reduced energy cost on ice and reduced energy cost when climbing. Make that a little safer. A little easier. Now I see a couple of obelisks out there if I'm like hyper desperate. But I also have the tent. Which I might honestly just want to use in this moment. 
So I'm assuming getting up there is not is no good. Well, let's just go here. I've got plenty of heat. The only thing I'm kind of running out of uh, of is oxygen and then stamina. But this is why I brought the tent. You want to use the tent? Yes. Sleep long. Sleep long. I've got an oxygen bottle. Okay. Let's just use it now. Everything's looking pretty dang good. Let's see. Ooh. Add some stamina cost to the top, but at the same time, we're at the top. I didn't expect I'd make it on the first first round. Wait, first summit. You feel the need to collect your thoughts as you stand on the summit and allow your gaze to wander. The things you have seen and experienced thus far have only raised more questions. Obviously, you didn't expect to find all the answers about the occupiers here at the top of the mountain, or to find proof of their dark deeds, but to find nothing but rock, snow, and ice. Well, that's a definite disappointment. You spend your whole life diving, life diving headfirst into precarious situations, but nothing could have prepared you for this. It's as though the mountain is doing everything it can to keep its secrets con concealed. You stare at the second summit. You've had one setback after another, but they made you made you what you are today, and they taught you to persevere, to keep going. In the end, you'll always have a story to tell. Before you can scale the next summit, however, you'll need to head back and regain your strength. What? 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 Well, we level up. Sanity gain in, in events, reduce sanity loss. Stone mastery are always prepared. I mean, honestly, the reduced sanity loss is kind of super tempting. Well, this is a doozy. Uh, let's see, I see a cave over here. I, yeah, I have enough. Yeah, there, there are those over there that I could go for, but I don't really need them. We need more events. I figured getting to the summit would be enough, but no. I guess, guess we've got to get out of here first. Dang. I was I was going to reach the top and be like, sweet, outro time. And now it's now the game has just decided, no, you can't. There's also like nothing. Ow, deep snow, rude. All right, well, first and foremost, we might as well warm back up for a while. And get some energy. I'm not really seeing any events here. Uh, let's see, leading into the darkness, but I don't have a torch. Actually, no, let's explore the tunnel first. Because I still get EXP. Yeah, let's get our, our warmth and our energy back. I should have enough to get to the end. Now it's nighttime. I'm not seeing anything else, and all of this is snow. So we might actually want to do... Climbing gloves. Oh, I also have the canned food. Yeah, so that doesn't help. Maybe it does. So using the stick seems to help. There we go. I appreciate that I can actually like flip those and see. Okay, I do see an item down there though. Let's go for that. If something else pops up, I'll go for it. But it looks like we're pretty much at the end. And if we're not at the end, then I'm going to need to panic. Because I only I only planned for part of a trip here. Oh, they're starting to pop up. They're just on the opposite side of where I am. But I do have a tent. Uh, 
Okay, what else do we have? No, not much. Yeah, so it's pretty much just soldier on to the end of this. I'm curious if I get to carry a character over between summits. Because that would almost kind of make sense. Make it kind of like a mini campaign, but at the same time... I'd question why have it a roguelike in that moment. Uh, if you're going to force one player to go through everything. Okay. Yeah, the one issue is oxygen. If Wait, no, no, no. We'll just eat the food. We haven't eaten this entire time. Uh, except for the deer meat. So I'll probably eat the canned food after this item, whatever it is. Uh, let's see. Can't do that. <laughs> Stupid pathing. Okay, control center. A low building catches your attention. It's well integrated into the landscape, so you almost didn't notice it. The architecture is modern and simple. Do the mysterious occupiers leave it behind? I think I have to just look around. I'll get some moon herb. That's not helpful. Uh, let's see. Okay, let's just go here. I, I can't backtrack for anything, much as I'd like to. We really have to just kind of boogie for the end here. Wait, is this all dangerous terrain? It is. I probably should have done that first, but it's okay. All right, so we got a cave, we got an item, we've got that, or we've just got the end. Uh, well, I have to go past some of this. I guess let's just go here. I might go up to this, but I doubt it's going to get me my oxygen back. Okay. If I... Wait. Oh. Oh, we're out of the death zone. Yes. Well, that makes my life easier. Because then all I have to do is just rest here. Grab this item. Okay. Thoroughly search the tents. Sure. Find nothing useful. Doesn't really matter to me. Because now that I'm kind of just edging on the death zone, it doesn't really matter. Health, warmth, warmth. I don't think anything can stop me in this moment. Let's grab this. I don't know. Yeah, because I've got plenty of HP. I'm reasonably high level. Let's see. Do we take the tea or do we start to dig? Eh, dig. Oh. Uh, let's see. Pull a stranger out of the snow. He's breathing and conscious with no obvious injuries. Exhausted and overjoyed, he hands you a gift which you gratefully accept. So we also got an oxygen mask. Which is great. Would have been really nice earlier, but oh well. I'd really appreciate it if I could actually bring this character onto the next one. Oh, let's not... There's another event over here. Just in case you can kind of new game plus from one run to the next with the same character, I'm going to get everything I possibly can. Okay, so we can trade canned food or fur gloves. Let's see. I don't want to trade. Unfortunately, we don't get any EXP, but that's fine. I'm just perfectly happy getting out of here. Well, this is fun. I, I like it a lot. I Like I said, realism is less interesting to me, unfortunately. Like, I would be all over this game if it was like a wizard climbing a mountain. But because it's a real person, it doesn't really excite my imagination. Mountains freak me out. 
Oh, no, we might actually be new game plusing with this character. A long valley extends between the two peaks. Sheer rock faces provide good shelter from the elements. You'll make camp here and rest. The hardships you've been through have left their mark. You know that you need to conserve your strength if you hope to conquer the mountain and get your story. You feel exhausted after all of that. Ooh. That's rough. So yeah, it looks like we can just take this character into the next one. Okay. That's good to know. Uh, so here's the question. Energy cost. Body temperature. Ooh, very rough terrain, very eerie surroundings. That sanity loss, though, is kind of rough. Sturdy rock, very rough terrain. Thin air is kind of spooky, though. Like, if anything, I'd probably do Route 2. However, for now, I think I will say instead that Insurmountable is available on Steam. It's been out, obviously, for... Uh, quite a while but the 2.0 update is out today I'm not actually quite sure what is added uh, but the game is wow it's normally $25 but it's down to $12.50 for launch so if you've been curious about this game or hadn't seen it before this is the deepest sale it's uh, it's ever had and what have they added uh, let's see so there's a brand new story there's a bunch of events maybe a base camp mountaineering map upgrades Oh, and preparing for missions. So I wonder if you can actually do some other stuff. Nope. I don't know. Part of it is because I never played the original version. I can't really like parse these update notes and say like, hey, this is what changed because I truly don't know. Uh, however, second summit looms. So we got some stuff I can do. Uh, reduce energy loss in events. That's good. Take some time to gain sanity. Uh, whenever you reach a POI, gain 12 energy. Whenever you wake up, you get 12 energy or just reduce energy loss in events. I All of those are great. Frankly, I almost feel like going enthusiasm is the, is the way to go. That said, this is a good stopping point, at least for me. We've got a long ways to go for the next one. Damn! Uh, and obviously, it's only going to get harder and harder. Uh, but at the same time, I think it's a really cool game. Uh, the idea of comboing um, methodical survival, it's like survival sandbox, but not. And combining that with um, roguelike gameplay works rather well. It's, it's kind of fun and tactical. And I really appreciate the fact that, yeah, I do get to keep my equipment and all of my perks between. Because I was, I was being very conservative with how much I was using and I was starting to doubt. And it's like, wow, was that just a giant waste? And the answer was no, it was not which is nice. But with all that said, if you guys like this video in any way, shape or form, leave me a like helps more than you know. And if you want to see more rad new indie games every single day, hit subscribe because I got tons of them to check out. But with that, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time.